I don't have the handbook. <laughs> I don't have the handbook. Ah, this could go wrong. <laughs> oh, why didn't I pick up the handbook? Hey guys, it's going in Samus and welcome back to 60 past 6. Now, <laughs> the last attempt went worse than the first attempt. So, we're gonna try again. Alright, so last time I collected too much soup and not enough equipment. So I need to do the opposite. I need to collect more equipment and less soup. Okay, right, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Go, 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 time to move, time to move. Collect the make it. Come at me, come at me, come at me. Right, to the shuttle. Okay, I'm gonna take this old woman with me. Come on, grandma. <laughs> Let's go. I got all the people. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Take that. Take that. Take that. Okay, can't see anything else in this room. Ah! Take the gun. Take the gun. Take the gun. Sorry, dude. I need to find stuff. Oh, yes. You're my mate. Right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I've got time for one more thing. <laughs> yes! Made it. Oh, that was so much better than the last time. <laughs> oh, so much better than the last time. I picked up grandma. <laughs> I picked up grandma. She's now with me. I don't know what she's going to be able to bring to the table. <laughs> All right. Day one. Here we go again. Okay, we got a communicator. We got four soups. So that should last us for quite a while this time. We got the artifacts. We got the gun. We didn't get duct tape. <laughs> and we didn't get a lighter. But I'm sure that's going to be fine. I think we're actually going to do okay this time around. Okay, so we need to do the speech again. I'm going to see if I can craft it. We got the mineral crate. I'm really happy we got that. I'm really, really happy we got the mineral crate. Because that means we can craft more soup. And we got a med kit. I completely forgot we got a med kit. I'm going to be so much better this time around. Right. Day two. Let's go. Okay, we've done the speech and we're a confident captain. Okay, everybody's happy with me. And what's this thing? Okay, you are on the peak mental condition, sir. Okay, it's important to keep yourself well fed. We need somebody to do the Russian supply. So I think you, Megan. I think everybody's good for day two. So day three, here we go. Day three. Oh, yes, Megan. The routine supply check is now complete. Well, well, look at that. The numbers added up. Current number of soup cans on board is four. Correction, the accurate tally is actually six. Megan did such a good job. I think it's only fair to nominate her as your payload officer. Yes, I believe so too. I mean, look at her. She just looks like she's made for the job. <laughs> right, I'm going to go ahead and craft straight away. Oh, wait. Oh, I can't actually make soups. Oh, I keep forgetting. We need that one. Not the... <laughs> well, I'm going to make duct tape. That's for sure. Day four. <laughs> Day four, here we go. You found a couple of rusted and swollen cans of soup in the darkest corners of the ship. Great, so we found our soup again. That's 737 years old. <laughs> Keep the cans. They'll be very useful. Okay, well, because April is now hungry, I'm going to give you one soup. Make you happier. Because that's the main thing right now. Day five. The ancient soup you found gave you pause. And no wonder. It's older than this ship. And yet here it is. Who could have left it here? Then again, who cares? Free soup. Okay, people are now asking for soup. Okay, that's not the best thing. See that locker safe at the corner, Captain? This is a captain's safe. It's meant for you. You have to code, of course. No? Does not compute? Okay, well, we need to get in somehow. Last time I tried flexing it and that didn't work. If I do it that way, I'm just going to hurt myself. I'm going to try and flex my way in again to the safe. Last time it didn't do too much damage, I don't think. Well, they're saying that it probably will cause damage. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just trying it out. Day six. Oh, I've injured myself. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> That's why we got a med kit. Okay, so we're getting unknown transmissions again and cannot defy who's sending them. So we need somebody intelligent to do it. Yep, he's in. <laughs> in you go, Emmett. In you go. All right, I'm going to give you a med kit because you need it. Okay, I'm going to give it to you. Give it too hard. <laughs> give it too nice and hard. I'm going to leave the food again for one more day. Hopefully they'll live. <laughs> Hopefully they'll be okay. Day seven. First contact. Here we go. Okay, we managed to decrypt it again. You are no longer hurt. You are now starving. Tom is now starving. April is hungry. Megan reports being glad to have you as a captain. Megan is starving. Okay, right. They're now hungry. So I'm going to give these three food. You're just sat there smug like, yeah, I'm not hungry. Look at y'all. <laughs> look, look at y'all. Captain, we've stopped moving. An automaton is tethering us. I'll play its transmission on the main display. Want to do good in the universe? The fluff scales need your help. The fluff scales? <laughs> a picture of an animal. A fluff scale. Presumably fills the screen. It's a cross between a wild hog, roadkill, and a snake. Since their masters went extinct, fluff scales suffer freedom. They are on the verge of dying. Donate soup to the poor fluff scales. All it takes is one can, and I will be gratefully let you go. What do you do, Captain? Um, I'll give you a soup, as you only want one. We have plenty, I think. I think we should be okay for now. Wait, so these fluff scales are space creatures, and yet they live on soup. <laughs> They've never 
never seen soup in their life video. That's what they were asking for. <laughs> All right, one soup it is. And I'm also going to give you three soup because you need it. I've given one soup away and soup, soup, soup. Day eight. Hopefully these fluff scales will leave us alone. The transmission about suffering fluff scales clearly moved you. The automaton seemed genuinely surprised when you approached with a can. Apparently, the most typical response involves weapons and you were the first to donate. Captain, I'm picking up a large octave of unknown origin not far from us. It's hollow. There could be supplies inside or maybe even other intelligent life. Shall I activate our super fancy tractor beam? <laughs> yes, that's his official name. Charlene from Astro Citizens HQ won the naming rights at this Christmas raffle. Let's think this carefully. Every single thing that we've collected onto this ship has always been a bomb. <laughs> it's always been explosive. This is the first time it's been described in this way, so it might be something completely different. You know what? I'm one for trying. If we get injured, then screw it. <laughs> Day nine. Let's find out what this thing was. And everybody looks okay, apart from you. <laughs> You're starving. That's what's going on. It's not anything to do with the crate. He pulled the mysterious hollow space thing aboard and opened it. Unfortunately, the astronaut hiding inside had long since perished. Decomposition in space is interesting, Captain. No, you're right. I'm sorry. May he rest in peace. Everyone aboard suffered mentally from the experience. You kept muttering, it could have been me. I'm confused by hypotheticals, Captain. It still could. <laughs> oh, such reassurance. I have a bug, Captain. I don't know who modified my code, but the consequences could be devastating. Great, so we need to fix you. So, I'm gonna use my genius, yes! Geniusness to fix you. I'm gonna give April food. She's starving now, and she needs the food. You access the sabotage processor and fix the issue. You sure but quick with those ones and zeros, Captain. Okay, so we fixed the bug. That's good. But everybody is now hungry, so I think one more day we can actually craft soup. Captain, we are now entering a field of cosmetic gas. Its origin is unknown. Though I have a theory. Uh-oh. Can you smell that? Did someone forget to brush their teeth today? Somebody could try to isolate some of the gas to use later, avoiding the leak's side effects. Um, I think you might be the best man for the job, considering you're clever and fit. So I'm going to give you the job, Tom. Because... You don't look insane at the moment. <laughs> day 11, day 11. Everybody's hungry. I hope they don't start starving. Tom did a great job containing the gas leaking inside the shuttle. Yes, I can make a lot of soup now. <laughs> I'm happy, yes. <laughs> okay, so Tom is now our science officer, so that's a good thing. Everyone's starting to get hungry, so I'm gonna start crafting some soup. Wake up, Captain, we're approaching some sort of celestial body. It resembles a moon, but I think it's a small planet. Let's run some quick scans. 96, 98, 100%, scanning complete. I was right, a small rocky planet with no organic life forms. Oh, this is the same planet as the first attempt I had. Oh, so it's the robotic planet. That's a good thing, right? That means no hostile people? <laughs> if you want to land this planet safely, you will need to fix up a small malfunction with our steering system. Okay, well, I don't have the handbook. <laughs> I don't have the handbook. Ah, this could go wrong. <laughs> oh, why didn't I pick up the handbook? I have nothing to fix it. We could float away from the planet. I don't know how shooting it will work. And screw it, we have a lighter. Why not? I don't know what the lighter will do. I'm just trying things now. Day 12. That doesn't sound good. Oh my god. Robo Tofu. Okay, we're here. You dove under the console with a lighter, trying to illuminate the dark nest of twisted wires. Once you flipped open the lighter, it turned into pandemonium, which involved burning your own hand, cursing loudly, hitting your head on the desk while attempting to stand up, then falling on top of the control panel and pressing random buttons with your butt. <laughs> it was not a soft landing. Nobody's doing great after the stunt. Not even me. I'm shaking to my cause. Yes, all of them. Your face was pretty unpleasant close encounter with our communicator module, and at least one of these things is useless now. Consider fixing it if you want to avoid radio silence from the future. Well, we have a communicator, so we should be okay. But we now need med kits because, my god, three of us are injured and hungry at the same time. I think the next thing we need to do is med kit. That's for sure. That's going to be three. Oh, that's a bad thing. <laughs> Massive crack of the window. That's not good. Everything's broken. Oh, my god. Everything's broken. Captain, we are unable to detect transmissions of unknown origin. Unfortunately, the communications console was damaged during landing. Yes, fix it. <laughs> Ignore everything. Just fix it. Okay, I'm going to use that instead. I think we can travel now as well. Yes, we can travel. Right. I'm going to send someone out to the village. I'm going to send April out to the village. And with that, you can take the suit because there apparently is some radioactive situations over there. Everybody, apart from April, will get soup. Day 13. Here we go. Hello, world. Right. We have no more soup. That's a bad thing. <laughs> you are still injured. You are still in poor health. Tom remains wounded. Tom is still loyal. Megan is still friends. Megan appears to still be injured. Oh, God. There, everyone's injured apart from April. <laughs> April's fine. Why do I always have to take the brunt of everything. <laughs> okay, well, we have no soup left, and we got two more days to craft that uh, med kit. The metal detector is showing a piece of ancient robot technology buried a few paces from the shuttle. I don't know how this is possible, but it's a coffee maker, a fancy one. 
Do robots even drink coffee? The coffee maker isn't buried too deep. You could probably get it with your bare hands. Do you want to dig it up? Yes, I want to dig it up. Why not? <laughs> it's a coffee maker. It probably means more food, right? Okay, well, I can't really do much else at this point, so... Day 14 it is. <laughs> Day 14, here we go. You and the other crew members dug up the fancy coffee maker and discovered it was still full of beans genetically engineered to meet robot tastes, meaning the longest lasting and best tasting in the universe. Great, so I had an amazing cup of coffee apparently. <laughs> I had the best coffee in the world. Okay, so I'm still weak. Everybody's still weak, I think. This might turn ugly. <laughs> this might turn very ugly. And I've still got one day remaining on the med kit. God, I hope I survive. <laughs> I, I need to survive one more day and then he can be recovered. Day 15 and I'm alive. Okay, well we have a medkit now so I'm gonna recover him, that's for sure. <laughs> recover you and I need to craft soup instantly. This is the most important thing right now. Just craft as much soup as we possibly can. Captain Ellis, a pair of robots are meandering towards us. They are facing each other and appear to be fusing at the hands. Could this be a parent-child pair? Wait, a parent robot with its child. What the? <laughs> the big droid thuds along on one leg after the other as if low on power, while the other one peters fumes from its back. One has a power socket and the other a mouth-like receiver chamber. Do you wish to charge the big robots, feed the little one, or leave them to their fate? Well, I can't do anything. I can't help them. Wait, since when did robots need soup to live? <laughs> okay, I can't do anything, unfortunately. I, I, honestly, I cannot do anything. I'm sorry, robots. I can't help you. I really can't help you. <laughs> I really can't. Oh, he's dead. No. You decide not to interfere with the pair of robots who are attached at the hands. They slowly blundered off into the sunset. In the distance, the child robot slumped lower towards the ground and the parent robot began began dragging it away. Perhaps it would have been nice to help them out, Captain. I couldn't! I didn't have soup! I didn't have anything! Tom still considers you as his friend? Good. <laughs> okay, so Tom died of lack of food. Uh... <laughs> oh, this is bad. You're getting a soup, Emmett. As for you, I doubt you're gonna live. Right, well, I think this is where everything's gonna go wrong. <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> Day 17. Here we go again. <laughs> Oh,